What's going on YouTube? Q back here again with another video for you. Today's video, I'm about to talk about this Integra Type S. So the pricing, the the reservations opened up last week, and I'm here to talk about that. So behind me, I got basically what makes the Integra Type S. We got the Civic Type R, the FL5 Civic Type R, and then we got my Integra. So I got an A-Spec technology package with a six-speed manual transmission. Combine these two together, you get the Integra Type S. So that's what I'm about to be talking about. Now, I did not reserve my Integra Type S. Had a few things brewing, and I'm about to get into why I did not reserve one. Because uh had my heart set on it, but so many things, it's like a bad storm. I don't know if I'm going to get one or not. I want one, but I don't know if it's going to work out for me. So we'll get into that in just a second. First of all, with the reservations, like the thing kept on crashing. So I was on there thinking about doing it. I had my heart set on doing it. But one thing I did not know was that the reservation was $2,000. And this is the car that I'm using with my YouTube fund. So I would have to dig into my own pockets, which I'm not trying to do that at the moment. So my YouTube funds will be able to cover it, but that would just deplete all of my funds of everything so I got other stuff I got to do with those funds I just can't have it sitting there on a the deposit on the vehicle that what I think is the number two thing that kind of killed it for me the pricing of it that thing is fifty two thousand dollars and then we got the Civic Type R this thing MSRP at like forty four forty five thousand dollars and my car was thirty seven thousand dollars throwing it all out there so at fifty two thousand dollars the Integra Type S what do you get more than the Civic type R not much so that's the thing about it so I got this Integra to be a daily driver and I got everything I want like sunroof adaptive cruise control five seats a few more other things but the Integra type s it kind of backpedaled on some of those things to where it doesn't justify paying the extra seven thousand dollars over the Civic type R so and I think this thing is overpriced in base form from previous generation it was like thirty seven thirty nine thousand jumped up to 44,000 and when I the Golf R was like the first one the hot hatch to come out and release its price for like 45 46,000 I thought that was insane but now they're all kind of that price and then the Integra Type S jumped up to 52,000 I'm like that's not a good value at all that's I know it's like a, a nice performer but I would prefer to get the Civic Type R over the Integra Type S for that price because what do you get with the Integra Type S you get five more horsepower than the Civic Type R. So it has this has 315, that has 320. You get a heads-up display. You get the ELS audio system over the Bose. And the ELS is really good, but it's not $7,000 worth more money than that. And then you still lose out on the back seat. Let me show you. So on these Civic Type Rs, it is only a four-seater. So as you can see, in the middle where a seat would be, you got cup holders here. And that's kind of a deal killer. Like, I would still buy it with that, but you're paying a lot more money to get less, and you don't get a sunroof fill on these at all. In the back of my Integra, you do get that extra third seat, and this cup holders in here that fold down. It's not the widest seat, but you do have the added practicality of that. Does the Integra Type S have a rear wiper? I don't know. I know the Civic Type R does, and I know they didn't put it on here for whatever reason, but check out that chai exhaust. My car's got the dual. Oh, another thing that the Integra Type S will have that the Civic doesn't have, you get power, power driver's seat. I'm not sure if the passenger seat is power or not, but at least the driver's seat is, and you get memory settings. You don't get that in here. With that said, I still think the Integra Type S is still going to be a phenomenal car. The same as this. I think the Civic Type R is a phenomenal car. So it's the 100 Gain 8. He just took delivery of his a few days ago. And he's enjoying his so far. Shout out to the rest of the men of culture. Got Blooper 1LE and Race Car France. But with the price of the Civic Type R, I just can't see myself paying that much more for an Integra Type S. And then is the competition is fierce in this price range. So at $52,000, I think the biggest competitor besides the Civic Type R is also you get the Volkswagen Golf R and that thing comes loaded with 
all kinds of features and they're taking it they're rolling it back to where they take that haptic feedback off the steering wheel so i'm not sure if that's going to be in the 23 or the 24 model year so it's going to be a more enjoyable car it's got all-wheel drive it's uh, got heated and ventilated seats and you can get a sunroof on those the integra type s kind of just took all the things a lot of the things that made the integra better than the civic and just made it a civic type r clone which is nothing wrong with that but I expected the price to be no more than fifty thousand. I know it's only two thousand dollars more, but in my situation, I gotta handle the negative equity on this car, so I gotta put money down to get the Integra Type S. And then with the interest rate so high, I gotta put even more money down so I kind of counteract the high interest rates. That's gonna be a lot of cash to sink in. So for me personally, I'm thinking about this one right here. But this one's marked up really high too. Don't tell City of Cars I said that. Shout out to City of Cars for letting me borrow this car. But this one is marked up at $56,000, 190 miles. If you want one that bad, come check them out here at City of Cars in Troy, Michigan, cityofcars.com. But yeah, man, I just I just don't know. And then don't even let me get started on the used car market for $52,000. That, like my M2 is $55,000. So that's the kind of car you can get on the used market and the the level of performance goes up but yeah that's that's where i'm at i still want the car but i'm i don't know man i don't know if all these people are going to stay true to their deposits like are people going to actually put these deposits down and actually take delivery of the car um in the dealership that i'm working with they got some allocations there and i was talking to the sales manager there they're going to be marked up on top of that i'm like dog they, it's going to be marked up on top of already expensive car I just can't, man. Like I'm, <laughs> this this markup. I'm. I just can't do that, man. Not in good conscience. I cannot just do it. It'll put me in the worst financial position, which I don't want to be in. And for a car with that performance, there there's better options out there for me. But I still admire the car. I like the way it looks. Just look at the stance between these two. The Integra Type S will have like this same stance, which that is a great stance. This. It's a good looking car, but it ain't that. So that's that's my reasoning. The the brightness is dim on that for me. So I don't know what I'm gonna do about it. I will test drive one, so I'm gonna see what happens when they roll around. If they're gonna sit on the lots, cause that's that's a pretty good price. And hopefully people are really excited and buy all of them. I'm not gonna be one of those people that uh fund that Integra Type S thought i wanted it but the price the reservation system uh, i might have to sit this one out and just wait for something else what am i waiting for like what else would i spend the fifty-two thousand dollars on i can put an order in for the corolla gr the top one with only two seats which i won't do that maybe the mid the circuit trim i would do that or just modify my integra but i don't i don't know how how much can you modify one of these this is my daily driver more power would be welcome and i got some things that i do want to fix don't love the color of my own personal car so um it's all up in the air and i'm right next to a toyota dealership too could just walk right over there and say hey I want that corolla gr but it's a lot of other cars too man for fifty two thousand, i can get my z28 that i wanted i said in the previous video like my m2 could handle the daily driver duties if i'm spending fifty two thousand z28 all day it's, it's a lot of cars man and then looking into that 52,000 you spend a little bit more you can get a ct4v blackwing slightly used for about that same price so the value just isn't there at all to me man front wheel drive and i don't want to rag on front wheel drive but the dynamics of rear wheel drive and all wheel drive seem to be like more fun these don't have the handbrake which i love they the Civic Type R can handle its wazoo off. I'm, I'm not going to take that away from it at all. But front wheel drive dynamics tend to be the least fun of all the cars. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. I know a lot of people saying, <laughs> teasing the broke people for saying, oh, it's only $2,000 more. $2,000 is $2,000 no matter which way you cut it. And that's just a lot more for a car that doesn't offer anything more than five horsepower and a better audio system. I could only see that car realistically being, like I said, 48 was what I estimated. 48, 49,000. 52 is just not worth it in my book. So let me know what you guys think on the Integra Type S. Should I still get it? And if I do get it, 
what would have to go. In my current situation, I'm sitting better in the M2 than I am in the Integra. So I would have two Integras if I were to sell my M2 to get an Integra Type S. And that's something I don't want to do. I don't want two of the same cars. I always want to try all the cars. I don't want two of the same cars. So that's why like modifications on my Integra came into play. Or Civic. Maybe I can work out a deal on one of these things. Who knows? But let me know your thoughts. I'm Q checking out. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, hit that bell. Browse this channel. And I will catch you all in the next video. Peace out.